Burden of Time. Studio version. Let's go. Hey there. Uh, I stumbled across this. Uh, I don't know how. And um, I went through the entire playlist. We have nearly 50 Love Bite songs on this platform now. And I could not find it anywhere. So we haven't done this. So let's take a look at it. What do you say? Here we go. Oh, 
know, I was just reflecting on YouTube can be a frustrating platform, but thank God for this kind of ability that we have now to watch these bands play. When I was, when I wore a younger man's clothes, there were so many bands I glossed over because you'd get the album and you'd usually get it because it, there was a hit on the radio, you know, or maybe it was your favorite band, uh, a band you liked. And the first thing that I always did was go through all 10 or 12 tracks on the album looking for the, what I thought were the best tracks, you know, the best ones that I wanted to pick out and learn from or, or maybe just listen to. Nowadays, you can watch a, this song. is a straight-ahead rocker, straight-ahead speed metal rocker. Um, pretty domestic. Uh, and when I say that, what I mean is for, for Love Bites. I mean, if anything can be domestic, um, it has, it's, it's an outstanding performance in every way, every shape, every form. Great composition. Tasty licks in the right spots. Um, but you could you could gloss over a song like this because it's another speed metal racer to the end and there weren't a lot of outstanding dueling lead solos or uh, big breakdowns in it and those are the kinds of things that would attract my attention over the years when I first started listening to rock now that I'm older I tend to sit and listen through songs more than once. Sometimes I'll work hard to uh, understand why a band is so popular. And so now we have, but, but I do remember, um, I would never listen to Rush. I wasn't a big fan of Elton John. I mean, I liked Elton John, but I, I mean, he was a pop star. I was a rocker and there was a big gulf there back then. And I went and saw Elton John, and I came away blown away because of what it took to put that concert together, because of what it took to support his piano work and the kind of stage show that they put on, the fact that they went three hours, and I knew every song that was done in that three-hour period. And I realized, man, this guy's been churning out great music for a couple of decades now by the time I saw him. So, the fact that YouTube and other platforms like it give us the ability to watch these bands, not only live, but in their environment, like in, in a studio setup, uh, perform, is just phenomenal. A phenomenal blessing to audiophiles and to musicians alike. So, you know, for all the times I cuss YouTube because of the because of its shortfalls um, this is not one of those things uh, that I will ever overlook this is an awesome ability to have and anytime I want to see that performance I dial it up all I have of Eddie Van Halen playing Eruption in 1978 two months after they released that album was what's in my memory there is no video of it. So you're living in a great time, an absolutely amazing time. And then it's supplemented by bands like this that are absolutely the pinnacle, the apex of rock music. And that's just me reflecting as an old man. So you know how old people are, right? So... I liked it. I loved it. But I love everything they do. I haven't heard anything I don't want to hear again. So I hope you all enjoyed this. I did. And and have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you soon. All right? All right. Bye-bye.